video is an introduction to quadratic relations. So I'll go over properties of quadratics. So let's get started. The standard form of a quadratic equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And a, b, c are all real numbers and a cannot be equals zero. A can't be zero. If I plug in zero for, but I can plug in zero for b and c. So if I plug in zero for b and c, I will get y equals x to the power of two, which is the simplest quadratic equation or the basic quadratic relation. So basically a quadratic equation has a degree of two. So if you see, if you see an equation and you see an exponent of two on the variable, you can say that's a quadratic equation. So let's graph this one. How can we graph this? We have to make a table of value, so x value, y value, choose some points. I will start with negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two, and I will graph this. So if I plug in negative two for y, uh, sorry, negative two for x, what is my y value? So y equals negative two to the power of two, which is just four. So my y value is four. If I plug in negative one, so y equals negative one to the power of two, which is just one. If I plug in zero, so zero to the power of two, my y value is zero. If I plug in one for x, my y value is one to the power of two, which is just one. And if I plug in two my y for x, my y value is two to the power of two, which is just four. But these are our points. And now I can plug these points in the Cartesian grid and graph my uh, quadratic. So let's do that. So let's get out this, okay. So let's plug in those numbers, those points. So I have negative two and four, that's my first point. So negative two and four right here. So x is negative two, y is four over there. And I have point negative one and one, which is over here. I have point zero zero, I have point one one, I have point two and four, which is right there. And if I connect these points, that will give you my graph. So this is the graph of my quadratic relation. So as you can see, the graph has a U shape. So we call this type of graph. I mean, all the quadratic relations, quadratic equations or relations, they have the same shape, which is a U shape. And we call this a parabola. So parabola, that's what you need to know. And also the parabola has a vertex, which is this point. At this point, as you can see, the curve changes direction. So this is my vertex. If the parabola opens up, the vertex is a minimum point. If the parabola opens down, for example, in this case, let's say I have this parabola, you know, this one, the parabola opens down, my vertex is a maximum point. All right. Another thing you need to know here is, so if you pay attention here, so we say uh, quadratics or parabolas are symmetrical. What does that mean? mean that means the right side of the equation if you graph a vertical line through the vertex so the right side of the parabola equals to the left side the y values i mean the y values of the right side equals to the y value of the left side and whatever you see on the right side of the parabola it's going to appear on the left side so basically that axis of symmetry that line straight line the vertical line which passes through the vertex act as a mirror for this parabola. So if you can see here, so let me graph the axis of symmetry first. So this is, I'm talking about this line. This is a straight line which passes through the vertex is my axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry. So all the parabolas have this axis of symmetry. So this acts as a mirror, as I said. So the, whatever you see on the right side, is gonna appear on the left side. So if you pay attention here, if X is one, y, y equals positive one. If X is two, Y equals positive four. But if I choose the negative values, 
for x, let's say x is negative one, y is one as well. X is negative one, y is positive one, x is positive one, y is positive one. If I choose x equals positive two, y is four. If I choose x equals negative two, y is four. So that's why we say uh, quadratics are symmetrical uh, around the x coordinate of the vertex. All right, so that's our axis of symmetry. That's what you need to know. That's all what you need to know basically about the quadratics. And also you need to know in a quadratic, uh, the second differences is constant. So if you have a quadratic relation, the second differences should be a constant number. So for example, let's find that. I have the values already over here. So negative two, negative one, zero, one, two for X and for Y I have four, one, zero and one for, let me plug those in. These are my values. Four, one, zero, one, four. So these are my points. Let's find the first differences. You should be familiar with this. First differences is just simply the second Y value minus the first Y value. So one minus four, so that's just negative three, zero minus one. That's just negative one, one minus zero. That's just one, four minus one, that's just three. And second difference is it's just the second value minus the first one. So negative one minus three, that's just two. One minus minus one, that's two. Three minus one, that's two. So as you can see, the second differences are all two, which is a constant number. So for quadratics, second differences should be a constant. All right, that's all you need to know about quadratic equations, I mean, quadratic relations or equations, the graph, the vertex, the, pro, uh, the axis of symmetry, all of that. So thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe for more videos. Thanks.